where he needs to. All right, here we go. They're getting ready to kick off. He was bobbing his head when we talked to Megan later. We have to see what he's listening to up there. All right, here we go. Now, you, you definitely don't want to start off like that, kicking the ball out of bounds. Everybody is scared of the returns, but you still don't want to give them the ball there, but you don't want to also give up that to the house <laughs> return. So in your opinion, who takes this home? Oh, it's, it, I told you, I'm Jay leaning towards Jay Wall. Jay Wall, but this game could go either way. With it being both of their first times on the stage, again, you, you just don't know how they're going to react. Now, on this stage, how long does it take for them to get those jitters out? When do you think we'll actually be watching them play real Madden? Everybody, everybody is different. If there were some people that the jitters never go away, they just <laughs> keep the to play. Time. You might ask Skimbo, and Skimbo might tell you he still has jitters. You talk to Problem, who's been doing this the longest for the greatest run, he'll tell you he still might get a little nervous before a big game. But it's just like anything. Once you get that first hit, once you get that first score, once you get that first stop, you're good to go. Ready to go. Chat, who are you guys going with? Are you going with the bomb or are you going with J Wall? Put up one for J Wall, two for the bomb. That was nice of each other. Right. All right, now it will be interesting to see how J Wall comes out on defense if he's looking. To be aggressive or sit back in coverage. Running the ball is the most comforting way to play mad. Yep. If you can run the ball consistently, there's a lot less to think about. There's a lot less to worry about. There are a lot fewer chances for turnovers. If he can continue to get eight yards, it's look for it to be there. a long day. Now, a lot of them said that they're going to be playing, really throwing the ball for the majority of the game. Do you think that that's going to change now that they're in it? Yes, it'll definitely change. What happens in Madden is you take what the defense gives you. And so if the defense is allowing you to run that draw or the defense is allowing you to take the sweeps outside, you're going to do that. Even though you might want to air it out, it's you still want to win the game, and that's what it's all about. It's amazing to see Jay Wall, too. He seems like he is just honed in, super intense into this moment. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's ready in his basement. He's just mm -hmm. good to go. It's not bigger than the moment or anything like that. We're going to see as he plays the – oh, he's, that's great. He's right there. While he made that completion, as you can see, Jay Wall had great defense there. Yep. Everybody was covered. He's going to have to make him work for everything he's going to get. And this is the first time we're seeing a different quarterback on the field as well. <laughs> yeah, that's it's very true. Yeah, we're seeing Patrick Mahone. The bomb has him uh, with the ball right now. And he's been playing some great football. Hopefully he can channel some of that Patrick Mahomes and. <laughs> equate to a score or two. What are people saying on the chat? Are they taking J-Wall or are they taking the bomb? A lot of people have been taking J-Wall. They, uh, they think the youngster is the good. He's got the goods. All right. The bomb's moving the ball down. He just needs to keep himself out of any kind of big third down oh. place. Oh, good spin move. And as long as he can continue to see him swagging a little yep. bit, he's bopping in his chair, he's starting to get good. He feels that, okay, even though I'm the underdog, even though everybody are crown is crowning, Jay Wall, I'm in this game. Yep. I'm playing. I'm moving the ball. I can continue to do this. You think we'll get as good as a game as we did in the first one? Yes. I think this is going to be a great one. It's going to come down to it as well. Oh, wow. He's showing off right now. <laughs> and just like that, yep. now he has some confidence. He realizes that, okay, I got this. And that was and some great And you can see J-Wall, too, sort of reacting to that. Like, okay, okay, he needs to take a step back at this point and refocus. Yeah. Now, we're going to see now J-Wall, can he respond to that first score? Can he put that behind him, the yep. fact that... He just gave that up. How big is that, though, to take the lead, to, ta to be the first one and get some points on the board? That's huge. What you want to do is almost like tennis. You want to hold serve. 
You want to score every time you have the ball. You don't want to get stopped. You don't even want a half a stop. This isn't basketball. You can't win taking threes. And yep. speaking of basketball, mm. he said he happened to be pretty good. He is. He <laughs> plays basketball. He's a. Uh, he said he's two a, a two guard back in high school. He's a, a senior at this point. Yeah, well, he's going to shoot his shot today. <laughs> he sure is. And here we go, first and ten. And you'll see the. you don't want to let anything get away from you. These first couple of drives really established the momentum of the game. Even though we saw Tiski in our first one come back being down 14 nothing, you saw that lead was well, actually it was too much for him to come back yep. from. He wound up losing it. You don't want to allow to get behind that much. So Jay Wall needs to make sure he puts together a drive and gets some points on this. You could see them talking to each other up there as well. Yeah, they're about making their subs and their audibles. Yeah. Just want to make sure you weren't going to accept it. They, these guys, even though they're competitors, everybody's classy. Everybody's a. Uh, they really are. They're all gentlemen. And shout out to the Madden community. You guys are great. Way to show each other respect. And they, they know what it takes to get to this level. Yep. They know what it means to be a top-ranked Madden Absolutely. player in the world. And that's the amazing thing. Before they get on this stage, they sit in this little room all together, and they're all focused, but they they all know each other. They're all friends. So it's nice to see them. You know, there's that competitive side, but they still all get along. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, let's go. Now we're going to get a chance to see that <laughs> offense that everybody's been talking about. Ooh. Just like that, the bomb blew it up. <laughs> well done there. I tried. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> and if he can stop the run like that, it's going to be a long day for Jay Wall. But he ran that first run play just to get those jitters out. Yeah. He's about to take it up top. He just needs to find his groove right here. He's trying to show off there. Yep, getting a little too happy with the spin buttons. We got to bring back hey, stick go. work and being able to manually yep. make people miss. I know that spin move is very, very effective this year, but you don't want to rely on it too much. And he has him in a box yeah, right now. Yeah, he's not really gaining Four, much yeah, here. Yeah, fourth and seven. Jay Wall did not think that he'd have to make a decision this early. What does Jay Wall need to do right now to switch things up, get some momentum? He needs eight yards, and he needs it in a hurry. Just because <laughs> you don't want to pull a T ski and be down fourteen nothing, you don't want to have to punt it. You don't want to give the ball up on such a short field so early in the game. Now, if you take a look, talking about stick work, look at Jay Walls as he's uh, the dexterity and the talent that it takes to be able to do that. The hand-eye coordination is what separates all these players from everybody else. It is a true. You hear it called esports, and it's called that for a reason because everybody can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. I still play with the guys now and then, but it, it's just amazing. They're on another level, and people really need to just appreciate how. Oh, Great move. Oh, there it is. He got that first down. You can see where he wanted to go. I'm shocked the bomb was able to get there and take that away. I know Jay, Jay Wall is really, he has his music going. He's in his zone right now. Yeah, yeah. He's starting to get a little more comfortable. He needs to, oh. He's got it. And now we're seeing him start to spread the ball yep. out. He, he started He started with that run, didn't get what he saw. He went underneath. Now he's starting to show his arsenal plays. And there's a lot of buzz around him. I mean, you've seen him play in the past. Is it warranted? Here's where I'll tell you. We're going to find out today. Everybody can play from home. And it does take a lot to get there. But actually being up here by yourself on that stage, on those lights, with everybody watching you. Because what happens is, now with everybody watching him, every single person he plays from here on out is going to have footage of him. They're going to know what he does. They're going to know what his tendencies are, what he likes to do, where he wants to go with the ball. So now it's tougher for you to beat people. You don't have, you no longer have the element of surprise. Yep. 
What wait, do you think wait. Skimbo's doing right now? He taking is it all in? not taking any phone calls. No. He's not doing anything. <laughs> he is locked in, watching this game, trying to figure out what he can do to stop this. If anything, he might be sending Dubby and Boogs a text asking what do they think about this. Quick pass. He's in. And now he hasn't thrown an incomplete pass yet with Michael Vick. The question is, how many passes do you think He'll throw before he throws his first incomplete pass. Chat out there and all my people out there watching us. How many passes do you think he'll be able to complete before he throws his first incomplete pass? Can he get out of the first half without throwing an incomplete? This is where you can... That was a great run. Yeah. Was he able to get it? He kind of missed. This is yeah, going to be tough right inches. here. Now, you got to be smart here. What do you do? I'm probably going to QB sneak it, but that's also even dangerous. I just don't like going six yards in the backfield in order to get inches. Yeah. But everybody's a different coach, and there's a reason why I'm on the sideline now. This will also be telling of his game. Does he take the risk? Does he play it safe? Or is this why you have Vic to run? Oh, good job. There it is. Still another complete pass. And he moves the chains. I know he is very relieved about that. Also, the difference in the score. The first game, we went into the second 14-10. J-Wall hasn't even gotten on the board yet. Yeah, that was also because uh, T. Skeet gave up the one hitter quitter <laughs> twice to uh, Skimbo, where both of these guys have had to work for their drives. Yep. And right there again, got in his backfield. He's going to have to come up with a different running play. It seems like the bomb is all over that one. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming. Double up. Face 24. And that clock is still moving, and it's going to be interesting to see how they manage the clock when it comes to the end of this quarter and the end of the fourth quarter. That's one of the big things I've noticed about people whose first time it is on the big stage. Their clock management is the first thing to go. They get caught up in the moment as opposed to looking at the big picture of the game. We'll see if they're able to. For them, both of them the walking trend. onto this stage for the very first time, what is the most important thing that they need to be focused on right here? Turnovers. You don't want to turn the ball over. You want to make your opponent work for every score. Nothing comes easy. That is definitely happening today. Got it. Wow. What he threw that pass. one. That was a tough way to make a living. Sure but is. So right. now on the second, on the two-yard line, He's that was right a great there. pass. We're going to see if he can get it done and tie this game up. And he's still playing perfect right now. Oh, good hit. It's going to be interesting with they, how they've slowed down this game and how you can see everybody's being methodical. Mm -hmm. He's trying to take time. The next game, are they going to be able to dictate yep. this same pace? Are they going to be able to do that? Is the winner of this game going to be able to impose their will on Skimbo, or will Skimbo throw them off a little bit? Oh, way to follow his blockers. Almost but he still didn't it. get in. It is such of a difference, though, between the first and second game, just the feeling of it. Yeah. The that, pace, all of that is a, a complete opposite of what we saw in the first. Hey, let's go. Now, this is where you want to score. You don't want to have to come down to a decision of fourth and goal from the one. You don't even want to have to think about it. And just like that, he gets in easy. and he can breathe now. Got the extra point. All right. So Back now to zero. 7-7. Seven, seven, two minutes and three seconds left in the second quarter. 
both of these guys are doing good. They've made the most of their opportunities. It's going to come down to stops and turnovers. Who's going to get the first stop? Who's going to get the turnover? And the fact that j Wall still hasn't thrown an incomplete pass means that the bomb is not bringing enough pressure. He's yep. allowing him to be too comfortable in that pocket. He's allowing him to go through his reads and his progressions. They need to, to mix up his coverages, mix up his schemes. Do you feel like they're both playing to their max at this point? Like, should they be taking more risks? Should it's, It all comes down to how aggressive you're trying to play. And what do you think the defense is taking away or what it's going to have for you? The way that each of them are playing, do they have a chance up against Skimbo? You always have a chance. You pick up that controller, you have a chance. And right now, you see how he was able to send that heat. Yeah. And, keep, and because he has Mahomes and doesn't have Vic, he's not able to get away from that as easily as some of the other people are. So now you have to be quicker with your routes. Yep. You have to be quicker with your reads. Whereas Vic can buy you some time. So you're saying there's a chance. He has a chance. <laughs> Great movie. If you ever watch that movie, Dumb and Dumber? Of course. Yes. And while I'm out here, I might as well hit somebody with a snowball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have fun here. That's what we do. <laughs> what? Take a look at their faces at this point when they come back on the screen. What are they telling us? They just seem like very... Right now, his face <laughs> says he's locked in, trying to get that stop. And then the bomb's face says, I don't know what I need to do here to move the ball on offense. Shout outs to Problem Child, Jay Bird, checking in with everybody. Let us know they're enjoying the stream. They're loving it. And just like that, speaking of I'm loving it, Jay Wall gets that stop. Yeah. And now he's in control. He has a minute 20. Watch his clock management to make this the last drive of the half. What does that stop mean to him? He's sitting there bopping his head. He, he feels a little bit more comfortable at this point. If you ask him, he'll tell you all I need is one stop. And that's the game. That's how good he feels about his offense. Mm, there's a little bit of frustration on his face there. What's he feeling right there? <laughs> he's, he's still trying to make sure that he doesn't make a mistake. Nobody wants to make a mistake here because you're so close. And when you're nervous, run the ball. <laughs> or if you happen to see something in the defense that works it. He has his timeout, so he has to be careful about the clock but you also don't want to leave too much time for your opponent yep second and seven eagle, eagle. game tied 50 seconds left great look right over the middle that was wide open 40 seconds remaining he only has one timeout he's moving the ball a little easier but he's still going to have to be cognizant, and he's going to have to make a decision at some point. Am I going for three, or am I going for seven? And then how much, am I, how aggressive am I willing to be chasing that? At this point, though, what's more important? Get the three points on the board, or do you go for the seven? It all depends on how comfortable you feel. He, now, what I'll tell you is he needed to get out of bounds as opposed to those extra two yep, yards. Stop that clock. Yeah, because now I think you're going to wind up having to take three. And so now he's going to take that three, and he's happy because now he's going to get the ball, and he's going to be able to build on that as well. Now, this has been a great half of football. He nailed that one again. Yep. I mean, for him, at least he's going into the half with the lead. He, both of these players feel good right now. You got to understand, he got stopped, the bomb, but he held him to three. He didn't give up a full seven, so he is happy with that. And then J-Wall is happy he got his stop and was able to get those three. Going into the second half, what needs to change? If you're the bomb, you have to start sending more pressure on defense. You can't allow him. The kid played a perfect half. J-Wall played a perfect half on offense. He needs to he needs to put some pressure on. He needs to get him out of that pocket. He needs to make him feel uncomfortable. And 
And there's that yeah. skin. Move. And that's how he used it effectively. Another completed pass. Are the people on the stream still going Jaywar? Is uh, how's everybody feeling out there? Uh, th yeah, they're definitely uh, leaning towards Jaywar, but they wanna, they wanna see a good stop here. They wanna see a great game. So what needs to happen here is you have to make people uncomfortable in Madden. That's what. That's how you win games. That make them do something that they don't want to do. Right now, literally, J Wall is able to do whatever he wants to on offense. Now, as you see, he's letting the clock go a little bit. You can tell he's not just stick worker, not just all he's a cerebral player as well. Even at that tender age of 17, he still understands enough to say, hey, look, oh, wow. That was a heck of a hit. It went from third inches to fourth and one. That was that was great. He knows that he needs to manage that clock being up three yep. with the ball. So he's already starting to do it now. That way it just puts him in an even better position for that fourth quarter. Do you think the, du the, the bomb looks a little uncomfortable in this moment? Very much so. Could this be our first incomplete pass? Nope. Nope. And once again, he found the open Smooth. receiver. He's still going. Jay Wall from Providence, Rhode Island. He didn't come up too far. Senior in high school playing basketball. He says that he's a shooting guard out there. Well, he hasn't missed a shot yet he's <laughs> no. taken. So he's right here. He knows he's has the game tied up right now. He's in field goal range. But he wants to. Uh, no, sorry, no, sorry, no. Tied up. He knows he can go up six right now. Yep, but take that lead. to be able to go up two scores is huge right now it can almost steal the game look at that That's blocking easy. he's gonna make him miss oh i definitely thought the kid was gonna be able to outstick him there gotta stick up for himself what does the bomb need to do in this moment i mean he needs some momentum sh momentum shifting to his way what it, what in his game does he need to shift uh he needs to shift everything in his game right now he's losing momentum he can't even slow down jay wall the game's getting away from him a little bit on the defense side of the ball he needs a stop whether it's going to be a fumble or a pick, something. My only question to him is, how many times do you get hit with that flat pass before you put somebody yeah. out there in the flat? How many times do you take that away? Make him, you're already at the 10-yard line. You're not going to get beat over the top now, so you don't have to worry about going deep. Take away the underneath stuff. Yeah, you need to force it a little bit. Inching away. He's getting there. Closer and Yeah, closer. he has that dink and dunk down. How do you think he's managing that clock, clock we were talking about it earlier? He's doing great because he knows, especially if he goes up two scores and takes as much of that time as possible, he puts himself in the driver's seat to win this game. We also have a special guest joining us right before we get into the championship game. Shh, I don't want to tell the I don't want to tell the stream yet. Mm, I'm right, but we're I, teasing. I, but I, yeah, but I think the stream will be happy. <laughs> and there you have it, <laughs> the first incomplete pass. You and the it. thing is, he had somebody open too. He went 15 for 16. Now, if you're the bomb, you have to be happy with that. Yeah, you you bend, down. but you didn't break. And so you see, he's getting a little happier now. He's a little now. smart yeah, now. He's, he's a little happier now, but he needs an offense. Yeah, he knows he still has a chance in this. He knows he's not completely out of this game. And now you can see with that stop, now the bomb feels a little bit more comfortable mm -hmm. on offense. That confidence he's stuck, slowly That confidence building. booster, and he's trying to get it done. Left, 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 left. Z, 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 Z. Slow, slow, slow. Ace, 
Second and two. Jalal with the lead. And he's moving the ball. Now, I'm trying to understand why J-Wall has like, taken his foot off the gas. He was sending pressure. He's mixing yep. him up. Now it looks like he's in more of a coverage. And it's just like, no, you can't allow anybody to feel comfortable. You felt the shift in the second. Go, go, you felt go. the pace Break of it. Everything rail. shifted for him Break in the second. Oh, great defense. He was able to keep from getting it outside. If he'd have got to that outside, he could have still been running. Look at Jay Wall over there. He's listening to something in his headphones. Go, go, go! Z, Z, Z! Z, Z, Z! Black 58 rail! Black 58 rail! Now, that was the toughest two yards he's had to work for. Third and eight now. If you're the bomb, this is your shot. You can now take regain control of this game. You need to get a stop here, get off the field. Make this a fourth and five. Make it something where you can, you'll know that he has to pass, that you can send the animals, you can send the goons, because right now, this is your shot. Yep. You've got to get in front of this. Jaywalk over there biting his fingernails. There's a little bit of nerves coming out of him. Z, 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 Z. So, so, so. Ace, ace. Is he going to be able to get off this field? You know they're going to go for it. Everything about Jaywalk says he's going for the fourth down. But you got to get him to that fourth down first. There it is. And that, and wow, you had to get off. He needed to get that stop there. Because right now, the bomb is just getting more and more momentum. Yep. He's getting far comfortable in it. He's going to take this lead. And you don't want that to happen in go, the fourth. Go, go. Z, 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 Z. Left, 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 left. This is where it gets a little tougher here because the defense is able to play. Oh, wow. Oh. And there you have it. Exactly what J-Wall wanted to happen. And I'd love to see the look on the bomb's face right now because he he knows he let that one. Yep. Yep. That's and he's disappointed and frustrated with himself. And look, and now. Oh. Well, I need to know what he is listening to in those headphones. Can anybody read lips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to see if we can put it down. Oh, he needed that. He wanted that, and he got it. And now we'll be able to see, does he have the mental chops to close out this game? Can he go ahead and make this the final drop? He has four minutes and 35 seconds, and he's up. All he needs to do is get in the field goal range. Go ahead. Go up by. Hey, 2-9, 2-9, 2-9. Orange, orange. Oh. Wow. What's the bomb thinking? What does he need to do right now? Uh, phone a friend. Go online. Get somebody's <laughs> e-book. Uh, <laughs> ask the chat for some help. There are a couple of things the bomb needs to do. Yeah, let us know what you think the bomb needs. Anybody on the chat? All right, he got that first down. Oh, now he's going to send him. Yeah, but you don't want to. You just hope it's not a little too late because now he's starting to send that pressure, starting to do it. He needs to get this stop. He cannot afford to give up any points on this drive. You want to see if you can do that on this side of the field just because maybe he won't go for it on fourth down, but once he gets a little further, he'll, it'll be a four down territory. So this is your best shot at getting that stop. If he gives this up, here. is the game over? Is it a done deal? Yes. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Second and 16, he had everything he wanted, and he gives up that touchdown. That hurts. Is that it for the bomb? Is that a killer for him? Yeah. Like, 20 to 7, 3 minutes and 23 seconds left. We've seen he's had some trouble scoring. He's had trouble moving the ball. He would need two scores yep. 
in under four minutes, that's a lot to ask for. Have you ever seen anybody come back from this? Yeah, well, we've seen some crazy ones. Oh, man, last year uh, we saw two onsides. Monster lost a tough one. We, we, we've seen any scenario you could ever imagine has, has happened. happened in Madden. We've seen it all. That's why they have the slogan. Yeah. It's in the game. But I, Do you it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot for the bomb to come back on this one. Just because he's having so much trouble on offense moving the ball, if he were to take these risks, I don't know that that would be in his comfort zone. And right now, J. Wall is just playing good football. I mean, do you think the bomb at this point is just disappointed, defeated? He feels like he's come back. What do you think is going in through his mind? Right now, he's probably a little deflated. But if he can get a couple of passes together, maybe string some together, hopefully he can get his mojo back. But right now, you can tell he's not happy. Mm -mm. The bomb, 29 years old from East Hampton, Mass. He about, just about an hour drive to get here. Well, he's going to need uh, a three-minute drive. Yep. And then he's going to need <laughs> a little bit more and then a little bit more in order to get back in this game. <laughs> Black 58 Royal. Black 58 he needs Royal. to make sure you don't need to hurry easy, up easy, offense, easy, easy. but you need to hurry up with left, your left, offense because every second you're taking is time that you're going to need to mount this comeback. At this point, though, is Skimbo, oh, well, uh, is Skimbo just really looking at Jay Wall analyzing his game at this point, or is it too early to call him? No, he's probably switched over and is just concentrating on him. But the only question with Skimbo is, is he getting a good look at this just because the Bob's offense is left a little to be, actually a lot yeah. to be desired. Yep. So he's not getting a true look at Jay Wall facing anything. But if he can get in here before this two-minute warning, he still has a chance to bomb. The question is, do you go with the onside because you have three timeouts? Yeah. Or do you just kick it, play D, and hope? Oh, wow. Or you just well, throw the pick. Or that happens. And it's a wrap. He knows it, too. You could see, the, you could see it in his he face. He knew he just threw the game yeah. away with that pass because that would have put him in position to come back. Now... Time is not on his side. So do you think Jay Wall just wastes the clock at this point? Oh, yeah. Notice he didn't try to make any moves. Yep. He didn't try to do anything. He didn't want to fumble. He's just going to take that down in two-minute warning, and he's mm. going to run this one out. It's tough for the bomb. What would you have done differently in that moment? Not throwing a pick to end <laughs> well, the game. Yeah, that, that's a good <laughs> he, first step. <laughs> he had some... He had some uh, <laughs> He, he definitely had some uh, plays he'd like to take back. And he had people open. It was just that he was in tunnel vision and was there. But at the end of the day, his first live event, yep. he came out here. He's playing up against the up-and-coming youngster. Still a tip his hat to him. You still, you still, And he fought. He had a couple stops in that. And you just... You want to see him keep playing. You want to see him work on it. You never know. Maybe he'll get with a crew and get some people together, start learning. Iron sharpens iron. Yep. A lot of the best players in the world are the best players because they play against that same type of competition yep, you regularly. You want to surround yourself with the best. No problem. And everybody watching this, it's going to be interesting to see with that next matchup. Now that Jay Wall has gotten that first game under his belt, he might, he might not be nervous in that second game. Yeah. He might be looking at it like, okay, this is my time. It is 
the youth movement is here. <laughs> Why not Come rising. Z, 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 Z. Knowing Skimbo's game, though, what does he need to change? Nothing. Skimbo's not going to change his game for anybody. Well, not Skimbo's, Skimbo's game. Execute. What does uh, Jay Wall need to change in his game in order to play up against somebody like Skimbo? Uh, he's going to need to consistently score and not make any mistakes. He can't make some of the bad reads he made because Skimbo will click on and make those plays. Still moving down. And he's in. Now, do you think he has an onside kick? I don't know. I mean, we got a minute left, and just over a minute. I mean, that's gotta, really his only shot at kick. this. Looks like it. Oh. You could tell Jay Wall that was a big sigh of relief for him. Yes, yep. there's a huge sigh. He's like, okay, now we can run the best play in football. The near. But two thousand dollars for coming out today. Yeah, that's not a bad. That's nice, gonna, that's gonna a, help. Nice little chunk of change for him. That's definitely going to help ease the pain of losing. And listen, you're coming, you're getting this. You know, this is the first time he's on a stage this big. You're getting all that out of the way. So next time he walks in here, he'll have done it before. And we have a very special guest coming up for you guys. Can we talk about this yet, Rico? Yes, we can. There we go. And, and, <laughs> and now we'll give the chat a couple of seconds to even throw in a couple of questions that they might like to ask him. Guys, we have none other than the Arizona Cardinals club champion winner, T. Davis, here with us. And we're going to be talking to him before the finals about his experience in Arizona, what it was like. He played Skimbo in the finals last year for the Patriots club championship. And then watching the youngster, Jay Wall, coming up and him facing Skimbo. So if you have any questions for T. Davis, go ahead and uh, send them into the chat. I'll see if I can pull a couple. But I don't want to step on Jay Wow's. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Wall. Jay Wall, you could.